guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a QuickBooks consultant for a long time, bookkeeper, accountant, and I absolutely love what I do. Now, uh, how can I love what I do if it's accounting? Sometimes just stuck on the books and looking at numbers. Well, <laughs> it's a choice. I, number one, I see it as a puzzle and as a challenge. And whenever I solve a piece of a puzzle, I celebrate that. And it's awesome. For me, it's great. Um, number two, I love working with the people I work with. That makes all the difference. Uh, last week, I got to see two of them. One is Somos Arepas in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, and Andres has one of the best food in New Haven. It is delicious Venezuelan uh, cuisine with um, lots of lots of fresh fresh produce and f fresh vegetables and and meats and all kinds of goodies oh that food was delicious <laughs> just to think about it i just i gotta go back <laughs> and i also saw, saw kala lily um in connecticut as well kala lily studios kara is one of the best photographers around in connecticut and she does headshots she had all kinds of uh uh, people coming up to her, uh, professionals, uh, politicians, and and she is absolutely amazing. She also did the, my headshots and and some of my, my pictures, and I'm looking forward to share with you with you all the pictures and also the interview I had with both of them. So more to come. Stay tuned. We're so excited to share that trip with you. The colors in Connecticut was um, oh, they were amazing. The trees were beautiful, uh, and we had a wonderful time. And I wanted to share that with you. But today, <laughs> we're going to talk about uh, HoneyBook integration. We have we had a prior uh, we had a prior video in Quick uh, QuickBook and HoneyBook integration. But today, we're going to talk about the second part that we need to talk about. Uh, so if you only did the first part as I had on the prior video, it would all the all the transaction would only go to undeposited funds in QuickBooks and you still had to record the deposit. Now if you do the second step, you don't have to record the deposit because it's gonna come straight to your bank account as a deposit with all the fees and taxes if applicable. So what is the missing piece? And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to go to HoneyBook right now. Okay, I'm going to move this picture out of the way because I don't want to be on the way because we're going to deal a lot with this upper part here. All right, okay. So here we are in HoneyBook. So this is the home page. Let me click on the home pa home page. This is, this is uh, where you see all the all the information and then to go and and connect with QuickBooks is there's uh, you would click on company settings integration and HoneyBook is here it's already integrated so we don't have to integrate again um, there's a second part of this integration and that is to link your bank account into into HoneyBook where the all the transactions or the all the uh, payments will be recorded into your bank account, right? So the way you have to do it is log into HoneyBook, HoneyBook, not QuickBooks, HoneyBook, <laughs> and under Tools, click on Tools and then Payment. So that is not. This is not uh, very intuitive, right? So you you uh, integrate and then you have to go back here, click on Tools and Payments. Now you're gonna click on QuickBooks on you know this, there's four tabs over here payment expense profit and loss QuickBooks and this is where you select one is the taxes okay if you if you charge sales tax you're gonna select whatever sales tax you select if you're just a service company you can just leave it as NA. And then here you click on the um, on the arrow, and here is where you're going to select the bank account, your checking account that is receiving the money from uh, from Quick uh, from HoneyBook, QuickBooks, HoneyBook, oh, <laughs> from HoneyBook <laughs> into QuickBooks. <laughs> All right, so that's that simple. Once you uh, once you fix that, your um, 
your invoices, your payments will go straight into QuickBooks. It's gonna go be and it's gonna be recorded straight into the checking account. And what you're gonna do is just match the deposit. Okay. If you have any questions about the deposit, you see the deposit there. You click on it. Click on the number, and then you can click on the deposit, and it's it's gonna open up with all the details in the deposit, right? So that's how it works. That's simple. The integration with HoneyBook is working very nicely and if you use honey uh, honey book that's a lifesaver because all your invoices are gonna all, all your invoices and payments with the deposit will integrate with quickbooks and then you just have to match it here with all the fees so absolutely amazing for those of you who are pretty busy doing everything else and you don't have time to enter those invoices on two different systems. But of course, you know, with HoneyBook, you don't have all the tools or Quick, QuickBooks to add, add all your expenses and so on and so forth. So you can't just use HoneyBook. QuickBooks is absolutely great tool for keeping your books accurate and then integrate, integrating it with HoneyBook. will just make your, your life easier, right? <laughs> okay. So... Uh, one of the things that I talked to to care on my interview last time, just a little, little um, simple, <laughs> I should say, is um, you know she she told me that um, the one reason she likes my video is because I am goofy. <laughs> and have have you ever seen an account that is goofy? Well, yes, she is right. I'm goofy, and. Um, and the reason why is because I I think that in everything you do, you need to find excitement, you need to find joy um, and humor. And I think it's so important in order to have like a um, uplifting, uh, fulfilling life, you need to find joy in what to do. And I definitely find joy in what I do, and mostly I find joy with the people that I interact with. It makes all the difference in my life. So just interacting with all of you, uh, with, uh, with my clients, uh, being able to help them find out what they need to do in order to grow their business. Oh, this is, that for me, that's the most exciting part of my, uh, of my job. So I want you to share with me, what is that that makes it so exciting for you uh, in your business, what, what what brings you fulfillment? And um, and some of you may share with me if you'd like. Uh, how did you how did you start your business? What made you decide to open a business? Okay, go ahead and write down below. Share with us. <laughs> we would love to hear that. Um, now, one thing I also wanted to share with you, you know, and I talked to Kara, is that when you are a business owner, you make mistakes. And I make mistakes, and you've seen that in my videos. I make mistakes, and I go back, correct them, and and it's a you know that's and, and well, number one. There's uh, as far as there's no such a thing as getting in business and everything is perfect, and you're gonna do everything, and things are just gonna fall into your lap, and and voila, you're in, in ha you're <laughs> in perfect land. That's not the case. For most successful business and business people, you will find uh, bumps on the road. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna fall flat on your face sometimes. And what makes a difference is your ability to get up, dust yourself, and start again. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. And learn how to fix the problems. Right? That's that's what makes a difference, folks. <laughs> and that's what I'm all about. You know, I, I make mistakes, yes, and I know how to fix them. I know how to fix those mistakes. I go back and I fix it and I keep on going forward. And that's, uh, that's what it's all about. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> um, so if, you, if you're thinking about starting a business uh, or if you started a business but you're kind of afraid to go to the next step, uh, I'll say, you know, just, just go. Just, just do it. <laughs> That's, you know, I don't want to take this from, uh, from Nike, but just go ahead and try it. And if you fall flat on your face, that's okay. Just, you know, get up, 
dust yourself keep on moving forward um, and that's what the name that's that's the name of the game that's what brings fulfillment uh, to be able to overcome those obstacles that you will face in life and in business that is just a fact of life and as a matter of fact in my opinion that's what makes life the most exciting it's just the feeling of overcoming obstacles there is nothing absolutely nothing more exciting than that feeling of that fulfillment that you have once you find a problem you work hard and you overcome those problems you overcome those obstacles right that's that's absolutely what I'm all about all right so if you like this video enough of that <laughs> Yes, enough of that. Uh, so much for QuickBooks today. We barely touch QuickBooks, just a little bit. But um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Share with your friends, with your family, um, with whoever you want to share it with. <laughs> right? Uh, we would love to help more people. So share, 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 share. And thank you so much for your support. We just hit a thousand subscribers this week. So excited. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who's been wa who've been watching our videos and supporting us on this um, road. <laughs> and um, I am looking forward for the next million subscribers. <laughs> so let's share so that we can get there. <laughs> all right. So that's it. So keep on smiling, and until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>